The purpose and function of this video is to clarify the purpose and function of this YouTube channel. As I've always said multiple times, this channel is about the grammar. I concentrate on the grammar. I try to stay away from the soap operas and the dramas that are going on out there in the quantum grammar community, we'll say, in quotations. And what I found was recently that this has not been the case entirely. I've gotten a little bit off track. I have actually engaged a little bit in this drama, which I'm stopping correcting with all humility right here, right now. What brought this to my attention was there was a commenter who actually, I have a little bit of interaction with this individual. I had a consultation with them and during the consultation, they seemed to be okay. They seemed like an all right guy. However, in this person's comment, they said, and I paraphrase, big respect, Jason, going after the big guns. And then I responded back. I said, to clarify, I'm not, it's not my volition to go after anyone. What I'm doing is looking at the grammar, which I always do, which I've said from day one, back in February of 2018, when I started this, it's about the grammar for me, the grammar performances. You can make all the claims in the world that you want to, that you're this, that, or the third. But if you don't have closure on correct sentence structure, communication, parsley, syntax, grammar, then you do not have a correct sentence structure, communication, parsley, syntax, grammar position from which to make a correct claim. Period. End of story. That's why I look at the grammar. And then this person appeared to get upset with me and accused me of trying to shut him down. And then he began going into critiquing uh, the way I make videos, uh, critiquing how I hashtag the videos, and uh, what was the other thing he did? Oh, critiquing, uh, saying that I'm a teacher of my caliber, it's disappointing, blah, blah, blah. As if this individual has a YouTube channel with hundreds of videos of how the videos should be made that this individual actually teaches correct sentence structure so he knows what it's like to be a tutor and this person knows the ins and outs of marketing on YouTube as if he has a position with which to say these things which of course he does not at least I'm not aware of it so then I realized it clicked in my head oh this guy's a troll and then I realized it also when I saw him participating in a live feed of one of those dramatic soap opera recent quantum grammar related videos that I'm talking about. He was in there. And so then I realized what, what he was. Perhaps some sort of uh, agent. I don't know. I don't care. I just blocked him which is what I do with anyone who comes in and is disrespectful, does not honor the terms and conditions of this video channel vessel. So from here on out, we're just going to talk about the grammar. The grammar only, I am not even going to acknowledge what is going on or what is being said outside of grammar mechanics. So if you, the viewer, come on into the comments field and you begin talking about other individuals, naming names, talking about these dramatic soap opera scenarios, your comment will not see the light of day. Period. End of story. What will happen is if you come in and talk about the grammar, I will be more than happy to engage with you and to, dis to discuss grammar on this grammar channel. Here's the thing about that. Not too many people are actually serious about learning grammar. Like this fellow uh, that came on and was trolling earlier, he's not serious about the grammar, at least not by his performances, because he was talking about everything except for the grammar. So there is a place for people like that. They can go to those other uh, groups of people and those other channels that promote soap opera like videos, dramatic videos about fiction BS that's going on. More than welcome to go over there and argue with people. Or 
other channels that engage in <laughs> giving psychological evaluations on people and slandering and spreading lies about a multitude of people that they don't even know. And everyone has a choice to make. This is true across the board. That's the beauty of contract. And I'm fond of saying this. I say it again and again and again. The beauty of contract is consent. If you, the viewer, choose to engage in those types of soap operas, that type of slander, if you take someone at their word, that if they tell you, oh, this person's a bad person, this person's a fraud, this person is this and that, and you believe them at their word, well, that's up to you. That is a direct commentary on your character, not the character of the person making the claims. For the proof of the claim is with the claimant. We already know what their character is because they're not providing any proof of their claim. And then we already know what your character is because you're accepting a claim without proof. It's called a past tense trust. So <clears throat> that's that. In the remainder of this video, as if you're watching, you can see that I'm uh, tending to a beehive. And this is a meditative exercise that I do. And it is a shared uh, performance between, usually between my wife and I. We could just live and take care of these bees all day long and not have a care in the world. That's how awesome it is. And that's how awesome the bees are and how we can learn from bees. As I just uh, posted in a For the Quantum Grammar Shoot podcast, where I talk about peace and neutrality. The bees are a perfect example of this. They're peaceful and neutral. They go about their business. If you come in and you trespass on them, well, you know what's going to happen. It's not going to turn out very well for you, I don't think. But if you're kind and you follow rule one, rule equal, then they're going to be kind to you. It's that simple. Final message to the trolls out there, which I think I've done a, a pretty good job of, of uh, keeping them out. One slipped in today. I apologize for that. But it looks like they, take, they took care of it themselves. They deleted their own comments. No more. We're done with that on this channel. From now on, it's grammar. Thank you.